Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> Tifa looks as majestic as a breaching whale, and Aerith as diaphanous as a jellyfish. <laughs> that your way of complimenting us? Human beauty is hard for me to assess. Which you guys should probably put on sunscreen. That's some sage advice, Mr. Pasty. <sighs> Make way, people. Back it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, Joe. What a wonderful surprise it is to see you again. Rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate... <gasps> a very special show is about to start. One starring you, perhaps. Now this <laughs> is so much fun. Hey, what do you have on your seat? You wait on the <laughs> So what say you? Care to join me in the lab? If you girls sign up with Shinra, you'll be set for life. Wow, that's quite an offer. And as luck would have it, I'm in need of a few female assistants. <laughs> Think about it. You could help give birth to the world's next hero. That would be so cool. Before a hero strikes down his foe, he must strike them with awe at his beauty. But he is not a hero by virtue of innate greatness. <laughs> so you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? <laughs> not consciously, then. As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. Uh, line him up. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's move along, sir. This way. And stop. There you go. You tap on it. Perfect. The line. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? That, my friends, is for me to know. And for you to find out!
to celebrate. Try and stop us! <laughs> Serendipitous! Our ancient return to the fold. We're so glad you changed your mind, Eric. <laughs> <laughs>
We've done enough. <sighs> Because of Hojo, this ple- No. I can't blame him for our actions. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... We had no choice. Things would have turned out worse if we hadn't stepped in. True. Not comforting, but true. Del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yeah. Well, it's happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff it's a part of who we are whether we like it or not yeah the deepest wounds never really heal hey i can make one for you too if you want Nah, i'm good next time i ask for a cocktail it'll be at the new seventh heaven at least that's what i promised barrett and when exactly did you promise him that sometime all right mr secretive you do you You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. <laughs> you? Trying to tear me up? Now I've seen everything. We've come so far. But it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ethalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes... I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. 
I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. They're just thoughts. Let them be dark and ugly. You are not. You think so? What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Just you wait. <laughs>